just over two years after shedding Lady Saul and uh, turning herself over to Christ. Marion Hall is ready to release her second studio album. And uh, comes to exhibit tracks from the album. Miss Hall will also weigh in on all the hot topical issues in the space. This gem of 2007 is forever on our minds. But why have we not seen much of the artist in recent years? Davel will not only tell us, he will be here to premiere what he's up to now. Could it be another classic? This is the love that she's A fellow artist depicts Bounty Killer's life story music video as the warlord celebrates 46. It's the party! In the wake of deadly violence in his cassava peace community. Futa Hype is from a distance calling for peace. Yes, the said flare up of violence in cassava peace in which Mavado is implicated. Futa will be here. As New York City prepares for its epic reggae R&B fest, grooving in the park, one of its headlining crooners takes to our stage. This week's C News reviews and more are all coming up. Welcome to the show, everyone. I am Winford Williams. We'll be right back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week on stage. So much more than entertainment. Bounty Killer celebrates birthday as one fellow artist depicts the warlord's life story in a new music video. Here's Jason. On June 12, 46 years ago, Rodney Price was born. And almost two decades later, the world came to know him as the Warlord, Bounty Killer. On Saturday night at the UDC car park on Kingston's waterfront, friends, fans, family and some of his cohorts in music came out to salute their general at his annual It's a Party. Kaboom! On stage! One stage! You know it's Warlord, it's the party! 2018. Sure, you already know what it is, Safari Live. Flew in from Brooklyn for It's the Party for the Virgin Bounty Killer, the Warlord. Big up yourself, anytime, anywhere. Straight! But it's a brother on him, Rodney, Basil Price. Him is not only a role model for me, but him is a brother, him is a father, him is a friend. So when you see Bugle out a party, you know so it's a fully serious. Bounty Killer, big up yourself. You hear that? 2007 exercise just forward out. You call me up on reggae some first stage. I know you don't forget that I'm not going to forget it neither. Big up, Bounty Killer. You are real youth and we love you like that. We respect you like that. We idolize you like that. Salute your kid. Downtown, Bounty Killer, birthday. Boom, Foundation DJ. Ribby system. Big up Bounty Killer, the general from him Earth Strong scene. You don't know legend of the thing. One ground guard, one general. Up. Alliance for life. Happy birthday, Rodney Price. You don't know the thing. Go. Happy birthday to my uncle Rodney. We wish you all the best. We love you. We day are with life by Earth. So we give thanks to birth. So you are blessed upon yourself, all who turn out and make it one of the most not memorable, rememberable event. <laughs> We're there. Boom down the mic. What time is it? What time is it? It's a party. <laughs> Meanwhile, longtime friend and vocal coach Richie Stevens dedicated this, his latest single, to the warlord. Uncle Rodney, what are you looking at? I'm looking at some golden pigs from my early stage of my career. Were you always a rich man? No. I came from a very poor beginning. It's called Riverton City. Wait, that's a city, don't? As in the garbage city? Yes, you could call it that. Coming up in this time, was very difficult to know. And me and my family, eight of us in one room. We said plates, but we said paper bag, all these little things. But it just goes to show when a did not dash away. And nobody can shut in your dream. Nobody never thought I would make it out. Look at you now. Just the way You're a rich man. <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> Yeah. 
Them say why well, not dead, not that shit where You still alive, you no gone nowhere That because you're poor and you must suffer Don't make nobody keep you down in a big gutter Remember you no gone, you still them out As long as there is life, things can turn around Get up on your feet and fight your struggles Got to believe you can overcome your troubles Nobody can shatter your dreams Nobody, nobody can fail you Inside yourself, try to find a hero With a vision of a brighter tomorrow Nobody can shatter your dreams Nobody, nobody can stop you Tell yourself you're gonna be the greatest Like a warrior, solid and fearless Fearless and do more Try your answer everything and even opens doors It's your life and yours only Sometimes get rocky and may leave you lonely You are the author of your life story Make sure your ending is all filled with glory No worry about feel that you've got work to do Ain't nobody in the world can stop you Nobody can shatter your dreams Nobody, nobody can fail you Inside yourself, try to find a hero With a vision of a brighter tomorrow Nobody can shatter your dreams Nobody, nobody can stop you Tell yourself you're gonna be the greatest I can worry a solid and fearless Rodney has been badly injured. He lost a lot of blood, but he's gonna be okay. It's a matter of time. Best news of my life. Oh, Rodney! I see you're awake. Rodney! Yes. Even in your darkest day, hold your meds and find some time to pray. Never let your troubles overcome you. Uh -huh. Even when people try to shun you, oh, yes. some gonna say things about you. Yeah. So kill them with a smile, that's the greatest Then do your best and bury them with success Nobody can shatter your dreams Nobody, nobody, nobody can fail you Inside yourself, try to find a hero With a vision of a bride Nobody can shatter your dreams Nobody, nobody can stop you Tell yourself you're gonna be the greatest Like a warrior, solid and fearless Shatter your dreams no Nobody, nobody can fail no Inside yourself, try to find a hero With a vision of a bride Nobody can shatter your dreams Nobody, nobody can stop you Tell yourself you're gonna be the greatest I come on here, solid and fearless The greatest, you're the greatest The greatest, you're the greatest You're the greatest Now, as New York City prepares for its epic reggae rhythm and blues fest, grooving in the park, one of its headlining crooners takes to our stage in this segment. We're talking about no other than Romaine Virgo. On fire these days. <laughs> Virgo, sir. Give thanks, man. You're blazing. <laughs> give thanks. Wow. We give thanks to the blessing. Where's the album in all of that? Is it is it the <laughs> album that is blazing or you? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I give thanks you know, for the love and the support that the album is getting so far. I mean, it you know it debuted at number one on the Billboard charts. And, yes, um, congrats. Yeah, it's been on and off, you know. And um, mm -hmm. you know, so I give thanks for that in a time like this where you know we know album is not selling as we would want yes. it to, but. You know, I, I'm not so much about the charts. I'm, I'm more about finding a place in the people in heart, you know, and um, I think it's working. I think, I think the songs are working. I think the direction that people are, you know, are, 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 you know the direction that we're going in, people are seeing that more and more every day now. So, you know, it's, it's, it's working, man. Okay, so they're believing in you now, sir. They're <laughs> buying into your vision. Yeah. And you've just come off best of the best. Mm -hmm. 
in, in Florida, right? In Florida, yeah, that was a beautiful show. You know, um, uh -huh. this was the first time seeing you know the, the actual crowd at Best of the Best. I think I was there like um, you know the earlier days, probably 2010 and 11. And um, at that time, you know, I'm going sun hot. Nobody not come out yet. You know, so it, it was actually you know I, I mean them said not not for the right time. I think you know this year was. The perfect time in you know, a lovesick album, you know, performing songs from the album, performing all of the songs that you know that we created over the years since the last time. So grooving is a is a top tier assignment. Yeah, is 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 one of the shows that I always want to work on. You know, um, you know, it's a dream show. You know, we've they've tried a few. You know, we've tried a, a, a few times to make it work. You know, my dream was always to go at grooving, grooving in the park with my personal band. You know, which right. is the unit band. You know, because um, that's the only time I get to give people a show and 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 people. You know, see that whenever it, it actually happens, you know? and um, you know, so it's, it's such a blessing to be to share a stage with someone in some legends. You know, I remember the first time I go on tour what was, was was with Cableton, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna be performing on such a big stage with Cableton. You know, Busy Signal is, is like a brother to me. You know, mm -hmm. you know, musically and somebody that me and him born the same day. You know, looking forward for that as well. Baby Face, who is you know you know. You know, one of my mentors, you know, somebody that, you know, writes songs with other artists, sing where I grew up with just love to. Yeah. You know, so that is something I'm looking forward to. And, and you know, Damien Marley, who is wow. somebody that, you know, like... The gong. Yeah, the gong. Everybody loves him, <laughs> him and the music and somebody that I look forward to work with in the, in the near future too. You know, and I can't wait to, to go out there and, and sing my heart and solo. Oh, yes. I, I am looking forward to that too, sir. It's going to be beautiful, man. Oh, yeah. New York City. Wow. Massive, Biggest massive show, yeah. festival. Come on. And on stage, of course, we'll be there to capture it all. And we'll bring back the story, just in case you can't make it. It will be right here on our stage. Romance, sir. Give thanks. Blessed love. Blessing, blessing. Good blessing. to see you, man. And keep the spirit. You got my heart <laughs> in the palm of your hands. All right, stay with us right here on stage. Still to come, over two years after shedding Lady Saw and turning her life over to the Lord, Marianne Hall is ready to release her second album and comes to exhibit tracks from the album live. This gem of 2007 is forever on our minds. But why have we not seen much of the artist in recent years? Daville will not only tell us, he will premiere what he's been up to these days. Could it be another classic? And in the wake of deadly violence in his cassava peace community, Futa Hype is from a distance calling for peace. Futa will come to tell us why. All coming up. We'll be back. Your nice life, them want to see you dead from. No, them can't check me and kill me, me can't dead. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. In the wake of deadly violence in his cassava peace community, Futa Hype is from a distance calling for peace. Futa Hype is on our stage right now to tell us why, from a distance. Futa, sir, blessed, blessed love. love. May I have issues, but we're not going yeah, to deal with me and your issues yet. <laughs> And fans, we are not a friend for where he's gone. Yeah, we're not good, we're not good. So we don't cover him at, at Jam Rock, and that's not true. And best but, are the best, two of them. And best are the best, he says. But yeah. we're not going to get into that now. We're going to talk about more important yeah. issues right now because people are dying in your community, yeah. sir. And, and the problem is I know everybody who is dying. You know all of them? Yeah, is it a youth where we grew up, I know before him born, or somebody who grew up with we understand what I'm saying, and it just not feel good. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? So, despite, you know, we have the bad boy persona, the gangster image that within the music, mm -hmm. in our real life is a different thing. You understand the message? Because we see the tears, we hear the cry, we feel the emotion that because of people. little community. Know. How can we have um, um, factions like that in just such a small physical space? Anyway, you have hunger and poverty and a small loophole for success and benefit you gotta have the opposing mentality there and people want to gravitate to what they think is progress. And so why that. are you staying away from the community? Because I felt the pressure of being a celebrity in that same community. 
You understand what I mean? I said, sometimes you do so much good and it is painted in a bad way. So I advise all you to that skill with a talent, with, with some farmer, a skill where you can elevate you for just like penetrate that. You understand? Because it's so easy for you to get caught up. You might stand up on the wrong corner and a man say, you know, say, I him did say something to him, I don't know what him said, but he whispered something in him ears and then my ear shot. Jeez. That time probably you did just say, yo, how much you want and cheese over? Oh, he shop again. But the person where pre you, I think what them thinking, I feel them head and go tell somebody else another way. You end up probably dead or go to jail for something where you don't even know about. And the punishment for something like that, as yeah. simple as that. Yeah, you wait, you wait to rub, rub my nerves now. When people start dead, then I feel away. Like, Nothing wrong if me and Winford fish it out and the two are alive. Uh, we have a verbal disagreement and we're still alive. Mm. But when people start dead now, it's a never ending thing. If you have a son and you dead and uh, Winford did make that happen, then when him grew, him fatherless, him got through film struggles in her life, in a film head, are you cause him to go through that? If him father did dead, he would have all right, him father that helped him. So him more forward and he more try to kill you or kill your son. And it's a recurring faction just going and going and going. So you're staying away. You would have. Are you, suggest, are you advising Mavada to stay away too or what? Well, it's up to him, you know. Because. In our life, each person, if you see them struggling, you, know, you have to kind of identify your struggle. If you remember carefully, me paint out my picture half of the wall as a celebrity you now. You're not going to find every celebrity to do that. But not everybody have the same vision with me have. That was like nine, ten years ago. But that result takes certain pressure off of me as a celebrity in the community. Mm -hmm. I, I separate myself from the community, from people painting an image of me being an era leader or a done. Because I wasn't that. I was just a celebrity in a very, very, very hungry, you know, suffering community. So what are you doing to change that attitude and to get rid of the factions in your community? So I mean, I'll be a better person. Be a better person for them to look up to. Me can't go in there. So you try you're... take no gun from nobody or try tell a man say not to be a shutter because some man see being a shutter as a business. But, but is that sustainable? Is it, there, it, isn't yeah, that the message that that, that is not sustainable? sustainable. But the result, is it? The result are going to be GP, Horizon, and Madden. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's not so, sustainable. Yeah, but Winford, in this day and age... It, cannot, we, we, give, we, it cannot give people a comfortable life. No, it will not. And young people will must understand that. That they have their lives to live. That they can trans, what they must try to do is to mm. transcend this time, this, this hard, tough, evil time that, is, that they're existing in to a time that is yet to come. But that's why I may have to be an example myself. Yes, you, you go you, in there. You, you must be, do more, everything you can for that, to get for? them, Every get time that them into see their me heads. Every time they fly out, or me, gone, or them see a picture with Buster Rhyme, or them say me a groupie, and... I have a Ferrari or a Rolls Royce and your uncle can not send me a groupie, but me I live one life for different from the struggling life. So yeah. you're supposed to emulate that and think in here, it's a foot of the day with it. Mm. And now him depend on a different level. We want up on a level that even if a carpentry I do, try to build the bed with the leather, leather bed at them and get in at the groove with what I go on. Police work out there, soldier work out there, yes. secretary work out there. See, like, no. so something is out there for everyone, isn't, yeah. it? isn't there? Yeah, but it's all about the influence and the image. All kind of image that I get out of for. Every kind, the bad, the good, the indifferent. But away you gravitate to. Mm -hmm. So that's why me yes. take away myself. I, more, most people are good, nice, decent, loving people. Yeah, they, most. Even when Prime Minister come from the ghetto. What is your understanding? Of what's going on with the Mavada situation. I don't have any understanding. Anything you hear, same thing me hear. Okay. Yeah, if the news tell me something, that's what I hear. Mm -hmm. If if the streets tell me something, that me hear. I'm not there. I, I don't know. I don't have any hands on and nothing. Have I'm you on. spoken to him since? No. Me and him not talk. Find him advice for me reading. Oh, you can pick feud, Sebastian. This is not a that's feud. That's not a good example no, 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 for the no, youth. No, oh, this there. is not feud. I'm not fighting with them. Okay. I don't talk to them. No, but that suggests oh, that you have beef with the no, man, Bridget. beef is when you're fighting. I'm not fighting. You still I'm read not. and respect him? Respect every artist. Okay. Right. But if, if me and you have an agreement and you're forfeit by your apartheid, that means that we have a breach of contract. Mm -hmm. Me don't want to talk to you. You're a fraud. 
Jacquier is apologizing for comments made about... Did he apologize? About selectors. Did he apologize? The same person who posted the apology came forth and said, the person who sent her the apology, who is not Jacquier, tell her that she's to take it down because Jacquier is not ready to do anything like that and he may do that on his own terms. She said that on her live show, so I don't accept that as an apology. Are you offended by what we said? Yes, I am offended. First things first, Winford, Jackie is a friend of mine, real friend. Yes. He's not a money friend or things for God. I've never, I've never received a dollar from Jackie. So he's not a music friend. Or we, we, we face the same struggle. Get to you, what, you know, the system be to one at a time. You know what I mean? We get different issues, but in a, the same kind of terminology. Mm -hmm. Two of them, two pretty girls, and then they left. And, you know, so me and him raise a whole part time. Mm -hmm. And we drive, got places together, and real friend. But where me get Jackie around now? Him tell me about my mother too. Him never say foot or hype, you know, but he tell me about my mother too. Because if he say, all son, man, I find that very disrespectful. He attack Father Paul, he attack Yura, he attack Mighty Crown, he attack Trooper, he attack everybody. What I think happened with Jackie, I think he used the wrong choice of words. Yeah. I think he should have said, all of the son, man, I want to pay me two and three hundred dollars for my double plate, and there's a thing there. Oh no matter. And then we could understand say me never after you two or three bills, so I wouldn't me at all. But when they say every sound man, that's kind of crazy to me. Because you know he's an Amsterdam man, him like over Amsterdam and Europe, and them have the different kind of weed over there. So me I wonder if him smoke one way too. Me have pictures, me have pictures and videos of me fighting a buckle for Jack Yor when me never knew him yet. When him there jail. Where were they up so the Mondays entire are community, selector, yeah. sound system community is outraged yeah. about this? Yeah, man, everybody, even sound owner, like Mr. Singh from Bodyguard and Father Paul and all of these legendary sound owners, Mary Two and all of these people, you offend them. Mm -hmm. So the thing when we see a mashup music win for this ego. Yeah. You can't make your ego override your professionalism and the natural course of your career and life itself. Jack, yes, you are rich now. You were not born rich. While he was in jail, he wasn't rich. So it's the little play and the little play and the little play add up to make you have one it, few it, three it, till you can have a catalog. You never go one day and I dance and play one of them. And if you did sing them in the studio and them now nah play and them never put out and a selector never take them up and read them and I play them, you wouldn't have a dollar. So for you, I say you're rich and selector for that. It's like you buy it in the hands of feed you. Mm -hmm. And I don't know about him team and who empowered, but this yes man syndrome is causing the whole dance hall business to deteriorate. Because if you have a solid team around you, Jackie, and them respect your career and care about your career, they will tell you to take down that video and make an apology quick. Okay. Well, he's open to come to our show. Um, Jack Yor, when you're ready, right. you can call us and come on and explain your side of the story. I'm good, I got life. But let me put this in the argument. Yeah. Social media mash up the world on a life too. No, my life good. The world on, uh, you're all on social media saying too much and getting too angry and riling up people and playing to our worst instinct. In our words, we know that people will be riled up about this. So we say them so we can get a lot of followers to follow and to build on that hateful no, but you can't or put evil me, you thought. Can't put me in other box that we can talk there. I'm not putting any, I'm oh, yeah, generalizing. I'm saying it's a mashup. It's a mashup artist career and it's a mashup. Social media is mashing up on our life. We don't need to rein in on ourselves by drink. Anyway, <laughs> we're good to see you, sir. As yes, usual, sir. Frank can come through and talk. And we hope for peace. Cassava peace, 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 peace for cassava yeah, peace. Make love be the other day, because love are the most powerful law of the universe. So. Yes. If I know it, yeah, you use your yeah, mash up. Of course. Yeah. All right, stay with us right here on stage. Still to come, over two years after shedding Lady Saw and turning her life over to the Lord, Marianne Hall is ready to release her second album and comes to exhibit tracks from the album live. This gem of 2007 is forever on our minds. But why have we not seen the artist for years now? Davil will not only tell us, he will premiere what he's up to these days. Could it be another classic? All coming up right here on our stage.
unleashing more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. His contribution spans decades, but it was in 2007 that he posited his biggest record to reggae's catalog. An instant classic. But why have we not seen much of the artist in recent years? Davil is here on our stage to tell us and will premiere what he's been up to these days. Davil. Big boss. Bless in love, sir. Welcome. Yeah, man. Good to be here. So what explains your, your upset from Jamaica, from the scene generally? Well, I mean, absent from Jamaica, well, really, everything in life evolves. You know what I mean? My life has I've, I've evolved um, drastically. There's some new additions to my life now and some other things, you know what I mean, apart from the music. You get me? Okay. I'm not a father. You know, I got two wonderful boys. Okay, you know so you I mean? took time out to build a family? Congratulations. Well, well, thank you, you know what I mean? But at the same time, you know, I became a father in the midst of me doing the music. Yes. And I, I've always wanted to be a hands-on dad when it comes to my kids. And okay. I didn't know that it would have taken that amount of attention. Mm -hmm. And it did, you know, but it did and I have no regrets of that, you know. Um, well, it's, <laughs> you can't ask for a bigger reason to, to put music on hold than family. But you have relocated, haven't you? Yeah, I've relocated. I, I now live in um, on the States. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But that doesn't take away from me doing what I, I do okay. best, which is my passion, music. You know what I mean? I still tour. I still do shows all over the world. You know, I'm still doing my recordings here and there. And I, you know, I'm still busy in the studio. I mean, my kids have gone to a certain point now where, you know, I feel like I can now refocus my energy on what my passion is, which is the music, you know? Isn't serving in the U.S. Marine, Army, Air Force another reason? <laughs> well, I got to give you a password for the real you know, the information, but yeah. but the real, um, I do serve in the Army. Mm -hmm. I have never really confirmed that before. It is the first time I'm going to confirm that. Yeah, I do serve in the Army. Um, that wasn't an impact at all. Oh, it, wouldn't, it didn't take you away from no, music? No, it didn't, okay. because what happened is this. The whole army thing come up now, come and know some people who I know this is never met them know it. When I first left um, Nama Mali, Comprehensive Eye, the first institution I tried to be a part of was the Jamaican Army. Oh, I wrote you wanted to join the I wanted JDF. To join the JDF. Mm -hmm. But the day I got my paperwork back from the JDF was the same day they wanted me to come report to them with certain documentation that I didn't have time enough to gather. You get oh, me? Okay. So I basically pushed that to the side. You know what I mean? And focus back on my music and whatsoever. And so when I moved to the States, that urge was still there to, uh, to, to serve. be a soldier. I mean, I wanted to serve. You know what I mean? I, right. I, I hate being a one dimensional person. I've always been that way. Okay. You know what I mean? I, I do the Army thing. I am also a licensed and registered EMT, which is an emergency medical technician. Mm. You know what I mean? And I'm still now looking into going back to school by doing my online course to go get my, my degree. You All know right. what I mean? So, I hate being a one-dimensional person, but at the end of the day, music is my number one passion. It's all, it has always been that way, and it will continue to be that way. Have you been to any other war zones? Honestly, no. No. No, I haven't. Um, the thing is, I was placed in the inactive status because of um, some situation I was going through with my divorce at the time. Okay. You know what I mean? So technically, I'm still in the military, but I haven't reactivated about myself into full-time status. Well, you just said something there that some people <laughs> didn't know, that you're a divorcee. Yeah, you know, free and single, but it's a mingle, and all those wonderful things. <laughs> so you're free and single now? <laughs> well... <laughs> you just said family well, and I'm kids, man, so... Well, I'm, I'm are you listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> hey, hey, my kids, mom and I, we're, we're, we're together. I have a family, you know okay. what I mean? I'm, she's there, we're there, we're... I'm not free like that. Yeah. Okay, okay. I want, I want, I go to my house. You understand? <laughs> yeah, but um, I went through my divorce from my previous situation. You know, I mean, I, my, my divorce became final um, a little bit over a year ago, but we were separated from 2013. I wasn't looking to meet anybody at the time. Mm. You get me? I was just in a mode where it's just me and my music and travel the world and do my thing. And things happen, you know. God have a plan for me and it just work out that 
that's the plan that God had for me. When my first son came, that was like a total life changer for me. You know, it totally put my whole world in a spin. Mm -hmm. You know, and I had to look at things different. You know, and then getting the first one, I wasn't prepared for the second. Mm -hmm. I wasn't even trying for the second. The second was like a, like a surprise, basically. Such is the love. <laughs> yeah, you know, I... <laughs> Good for you. Yeah. So this song that we are about to drop, sounds like it's a love song, isn't it? Yeah, well, it depends on how you look at it. You know, at the end okay. of the day, you know, it's all about, you know, somebody or the ladies in, in general looking for that particular love. And, you know, this is the love they've been searching <laughs> that for. That love search. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. All right, let's take it right now. She said she want to be my bony heart. From the first time she get my loving, yeah. Here with the villa, sir. She told me to give her my love that she's made in so long. This is the love that she searched for. Okay, this is the love. That's a title. Wow. Yeah, man. Such a nice song, sir. Congrats. Yeah. Yes, thank you. Big, Big song. Boss. Thank you, man. That's a song. A song. Thank you. A complete song. Yeah, man. I mean, we're sending it on. I mean, I hope people like it. I like it already, my friend. Yeah, well, the thing is, this song is now has been on the number one spot in the South Florida chart for about two weeks. Okay. Um, it's gotten some... Um, so uh, South Florida is yeah. already blazing it. Yes, definitely. And um, it's been added to some mixed shows on mm -hmm. the major stations in, um, on the East Coast in America. Um, so... So far, so good. Is this part of a bigger project or what? It is, definitely. I'm now in the studio and we're trying to get this album completed because it's okay. overdue. Nice. Yeah, so we have my personal tour we're putting together right now, coming up for the summer. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, you know, the great, one of my icons, and one of my inspirations musically, Mr. Barris Harmon is going on tour. And I have the, 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 I'm the privilege of being in two legs of those shows. Oh, which is in, nice. Um, um, St. Petersburg in Florida and also uh, Port St. Lucie yeah. on the 3rd and 5th of July. So I'm so looking forward to that opportunity. Oh, you know? yeah, you must be. Yeah, man. Uh, going out there with the love doctor, that's yeah. big. You know what I mean? I must congratulate you too for Rebel Salute. Yeah, wow. It was great seeing you on stage, Naville, having it still, still having what we know you to have, sir. Thank you. Well, the thing is this, I must say kudos again to Tony Rebel and the whole Rebel, Rebel Salute team for everyone um, mm -hmm. getting me to be a part of that. There's nothing that makes me feel as good as being on a platform performing in Jamaica. I honestly was very surprised at the response too because I've never been that nervous ever in all my life going on stage until I touched Rebel Salute. Isn't it all of this a reset for your career in a sense? You could say so, yeah? yeah? Because there are things that I see happening now for me that hasn't happened in a long while. And a part of that, uh, one of those things is Rebel Salute itself. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, and having this song itself, I, I, I must say, big up Delhi Rankin, because you know Delhi Rankin is. Oh, yeah, man. Delhi. Yeah, boss, Delhi. Uh, yeah, that's my family. You know what yeah. I mean? He's also the godfather of my kids, so you must know what the deeper thing is. Yeah, you know what I mean? We go way back, and Delhi is one of those individuals who have always kept it real with me, regardless if I like it or not. Davil, sir. Thank what you. good, sir. It's good to have you. Thanks for bringing your, your brand new project to us to put it out there, and I'm sure our. Our fans out there will be gobbling up that record. This yeah. is the love. This is the love. This is the love. Respect. Great song. Check it out. All right. So there you have him in this segment. Davil, those of you who've been asking. Over two years after shedding Lady Saw and turning her life over to the Lord, Marian Hall is ready to release her second album and comes to exhibit tracks from the album, live, right here on our stage. Wow, you don't want to miss that. We'll be back. Reaching more and more screens around the world every week. On stage, so much more than entertainment. Over two years after shedding Lady Saw and turning her life over to Christ, Marion Hall is ready to re release her second studio album my had a plan. and comes to exhibit tracks from the album live on our stage. But first, a little chat 
with Miss Hall. Mm -hmm. Marianne, so, so good to have you. Welcome. Thanks for Good to see you. Here. Thank you. Do you live here in Jamaica? I live all around the world. Anywhere <laughs> God says move, go, that's where I am. Whenever the Spirit of God says go, I have to go. What is the central theme of that mm -hmm. one? The, the first one was when God speaks. Yes. God spoke to me right through the whole thing and direct me. This time it just blew my mind, so I, I title it is Grace. Okay. You know, because um, while I was going through my going through, you know, he was there for me and his grace just picked me up at all times, you know, so 17 tracks. Isn't that 17? <laughs> wow. What are some of the messages that w well, one could look for? This to? time around, I have country. Mm. I'm going to, you'll get that later on. <laughs> My Jesus walk on water, like real country, you know? And yes. um, I have like some type of bluesy, then I have reggae, mm -hmm. you know, a little mento. And I have to say, Lord, give me some dance hall. So just, I stopped the album when I, I did 15 tracks and I said, hold it, I have to get some dance hall in it. Oh. So I'm fine. This is one of the turn back Christian. Hurry up and come back Christian. So I'm like, but there's one about, mm -hmm. it sounds like a prior to give you a man. A, 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 All right, let me tell you about that. Yes. A pastor, I'm not going to call your name, but there's a pastor in Florida. She was telling me about her husband that she now have and the one before, mm -hmm. you know, how he was not, you know, a good person. He did something wrong. And she said, but don't be Jamaican because he was a Jamaican. And she said she started fasting and praying, you know. And when she went to church, the pastor said, well, somebody been praying for her husband. Your ship just landed. So she took all her mortgage and go and put a praise on it. <laughs> I call it a praise, you know. She yeah. just put everything and she said, God has blessed me with a perfect husband. So she was staying at my house and I wake up the morning and I said, listen to this. <laughs> oh, so it, it, yeah. it was a song. You it became a song. Is, yes. God put people in your life to, oh, he put all your enemy them to motivate you. When you give your life to him, you lack nothing. He keep nothing from you. In church, you know, a lot of women, they just want a husband. If you want, want too much, the devil with your husband and your husband is for you. <laughs> we get up on God. I know this lady, 30 odd years, she never had a husband. And somebody called the radio station and they were praying. And her spirit just evoked and she took it like the man said, you take this one on. And she took it on. And when she finished praying for him, God said, call him back. She said, God, when we call him, I don't know. And when she went to the girl at the switchboard, they're married now. And one other doctor, she said, the man that I have wasn't the one that I really was out, but he's a perfect man coming. I like washing him wash. <laughs> <laughs> so when you wait up on God, he'll give you anything you want, you know? So I'm just waiting. If him not say, that's yours, man, me now look over there. You see what I'm doing? Me done, me done, me done. Aren't you anticipating some, some level of controversy oh, around God. this one? I don't know. I'm just wondering, because, you know. I, I don't know, but I'm not the one seeking a man. Yes. You know, I'm telling my church sisters, wait up on God. Well, my dear, I, I think it's a great song. I, <laughs> I, li it. I like it. I sent it out and somebody in Australia said, we need you in Australia. Mm -hmm. People, um, some people watch you and see you ministering and we need you down here. There's a song. Okay, that, now. A gospel song. <laughs> All right. A bedroom song. Oh. A sexually explicit mm -hmm. song that was done by Dovey Magnum and was done over by Chosen, who is a gospel artist. Yeah. Have you heard of the controversy? Have you heard I of you the song? everything, honestly, no. I, I, I'm sitting in the presence of God. God, speak to me, please. <laughs> Let me know how to run. Yes. All right, I, I know of Doggy. Doggy, she, she's a friend of mine. Yes. Long time before I got saved. And I'm not familiar with Chosen. Didn't know anything about the song because that is not my business. I'm about God business. So I yes. see out a dance hall and all of them things. So where do you know me and my driver come from country? We go minister down in our country and we hear the song. The chosen version. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when I hear it, I pick up what, you know, what everybody was talking. I'm like, okay. But let me tell you oh, I can, what, what we can say about this now. Yes. So I'm going to say two way. In the Bible, you see, there was a time when God took one of his prophets and sent him out to marry a prostitute yes. just to prove to the Israelites how hungry he was and that was what they were doing you know he, he was angry with them so him say him, she, if, he, if he go out and marry this woman in whoredom get children with her and all that mm. so God used the foolish things of the world to confound the wise 
I don't know if God and him had a conversation because God talked to me all the time. So I'm, and we know in our malice with God, when we give our lives to him and him a correspond with me. Mm -hmm. But there's also another thing. There's a scripture that tells you you can't drink from the cup of the devil and then you come and drink from the cup of Christ. It also tells you you can't sit around the table and name from the devil table and then you come right. Yeah. So it, it's two sides to the story. But the thing is, I don't know if okay. he had an encounter with God because I'm one of God's foolishness. God used the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And I'm one of God's foolishness because a lot of people still think mm. that, you know, I mm. wish I go about here, you know, I, I come out and say I'm a minister and people say, I wish I call her, but God called me minister. He told me minister hall. He said feeding and winning souls for Christ for the ministry. Yeah. He also said evangelist while I was in that room. So who am I to tell him? Yes. You know, because I don't know. So poor him and God mm. have a conversation. God do some sitting sometimes. You say, really, God? God give me a message to give people. I mean, never. I got it. I miss God. I can't do that. I'm a mouth fly open. man. I have to give it. Because his defense, really, is that he's injecting the, the Holy Ghost in that moment that, that, that is being described by Dovey. And when he, when he says that, and you mm. think about it, if you were to go beyond that, mm. then you're saying that there's a safe space for certain behavior and that God not belong in certain things or, or the, know, the Holy Ghost is did, not did supposed to be... Did he say God tell him to do it or so? Because God Yes, him says so. God gave him well, the song, God he says. God gave him the song, I have nothing to say about it. He did say so that. He, yeah. If he said that, it's not... The argument done. A God and in business. So yes. now, look here. God talked to me when me and dirty lady saw, you know. Mm. And he took the time to talk to me and... Look how much people will want God to talk to them. You know how special we feel. If, he, if God tell him so, then I am out of it. That's a kingdom business. At, at the same time, when Ma Marshall has dropped mm. a song. Oh, I love it. Oh, the whole I church is playing it. it. You know why? Yes. I went to minister at a church recently, and when I saw him up there, and when the Holy Ghost take him and him, he couldn't even sing out the song. I know. We just feel happy because when the Holy yeah. Ghost come up on you, you know, man, it's sweet, you know, man. No, no, sweet, I know. Not even woman who that sweet just are no man who that sweet. Lord, <laughs> love him, love him, love him, live for Jesus and dead for him. But there's a spirit of puppy show, you see, when we see a go on in this year. The devil is trying to use Christians and turn them in a puppy show, but me not unite with him. Okay. <laughs> Let me ask you a question about yeah, dance hall. Because some people are. Dance hall. Me know long me no business with that. Spice. Hold on, it's your turn. The reason why this question is relevant is that spice is widely held as the new queen of dance hall. Well, but God, many, thank you for making me a queen. <laughs> oh, I'm a queen for Jesus. Many are, are saying that you are still queen. Though Spice, listen, for most, I think, are supporting Spice as a new queen. Listen, I hear nothing about that yes. their business. When me just say, you know how much things I go to in a dance hall. Sorry, let me turn me back here yeah, one time. Let me tell you something. You know, business I'm with that. God, me, me, me now keep my eyes off of him. Me hear some song, I am say so many songs, because some of them, me now <laughs> like foolishness. <laughs> and me now say, mm, back, no, food over yeah. nobody more. Yeah. But when me hear some song, I say, ah, that's right, God, me this sound fool, man. Mm. So, so you do not wish to be called queen? None at all. I'm, listen, ladies, our spirit is dead. God kill that spirit. If I had that spirit, me see some things. You mean I go a long time mm. You know, me that uh, attack long time. And when people are trying to draw me out, you know? Yes. I am just at ease and I'm loving God. I'm so in love with him that the devil is jealous. And because he's so jealous, he might try some things, but he might already come himself, you know, and couldn't pull me. So I don't know how him offspring them think them can't pull me. My body in the name of Jesus. Now, the controversy surrounding Gino Jennings, and the, and the statement <laughs> about women and Mr. Vegas mm -hmm. taking him on and all of that. Listen, the Bible tells you, you know, to be sober, be vigilant, because the devil, your adversary, mm -hmm. like a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. And there's a demon involved in that. An old scenario. But do you have issues with women wearing makeups and well, for me, God name lingerie and, and short skirts if and I feel those like things. If I put up here today, the good the thing is, you see me like, just wash me here and go so with it and, mm. you know, but if I feel like putting on, me not see, God not take away the Holy Spirit from me through that. The okay. Holy Ghost still a flow all over me. <laughs> when we put it on, me still 
you know, feel the spirit of God, and God never said nothing to me. But the thing is, I was never a lover of makeup myself. Okay. But, you know, because I believe when you put on too much makeup, you look older than you, you know? So if me clean off this, my face more, me is a yellow girl, mm -hmm. yeah? But, me not trouble people where they want to put on. I, I can't say, don't put on your makeup or don't, because I'm a Christian. You know, I can't say that. It's how you feel. Why is it that people who, women who wear makeup, they, they, they still anointed like, whoa, when they open their mouth, all, people drop a ground <laughs> and something there. Come on now. So that not, yeah. that not dilute the spirit of God. So, what, yeah. you know, God never tell me to say anything, so I don't know nothing about it. Oh, my. Well, my dear. All that's left now is to give you the stage. Yes, all that's left. And you give us and some of your, of me your beautiful music. Thank you so very much. I know some of you ladies are going to be mad at me right now for saying this, but uh, I don't know what's wrong with some of us. As soon as we get saved, we need a husband. We need a husband. It's like we're not waiting up on the Lord anymore. You know what I'm saying? I mean, the devil can send you a husband too. So you gotta be careful of him hearing what you asking for. I mean, me on the other side, I'm married to Jesus. And I'm married to Jesus until he say otherwise. And until he say otherwise, guess what? I'm gonna fast and I'm gonna pray I'm gonna ask God to send the right man my way. He should be anointed and filled with the Holy Ghost. One of God appointed fellas, you better take note. Listen, listen, listen. If God don't tell me that you sanctified, wash in the blood and that you purified. If he don't tell me that you qualified and your petitions I must deny. You better not come here working under this guy Cause I can see you from a spiritual eye While I wait just let me testify All my needs God will supply So I'm gonna fast <laughs> And I'm gonna pray Come on now I'm gonna ask God to send The right man my way ha! He should be anointed And filled with the Holy Ghost ha! One of God appointed Boys, you better let, let me tell you something I ain't rushing right now, I'm chilling Married to Jesus, oh what a feeling So with love I could touch the ceiling Thank you God for your spiritual loving Being single sometimes is a blessing Cause I was not a man disrespecting Putting me down as if I was nothing I don't need a man unless Jesus said so I'm gonna fast and I'm gonna pray. I'm gonna ask God to send the right man my way. Hey, you should be anointed and filled with the Holy Ghost. One of God appointed. Boys, you better take no listen when him come now. Me say, when he come, I'll put a praise on him. I'll put a praise, a praise, a praise on him. I said, when he come. I praise on him. I said, when he come on, put a praise on him. Minister God. Ladies, let us fast. Hold up, folks. Let us fast. And let us pray. Let us ask God to shout. The right men are way. They should be anointed and filled with the Holy Ghost. Hey! Some of God appointed. Boys, you better take note. Ladies, don't be mad. You just wait up on the Lord. There's nothing too hard for God. And the devil, he really gives gifts. So you don't want to have nothing to do with that. So just wait. Wait up on God. And he'll give you that husband. And when you get a husband, girl, marry that man and put a praise on him. <laughs> Jesus, Holy Spirit, direct me. I tell you, all right now, let me tell you why I'm married to Jesus. 
I was sick of being lied to, <laughs> sick of being cheated on, <laughs> sick of being, you know, abused and all of that. Let me tell you about my God. Have you ever been in love before? Like really in love? Have anyone ever loved you before? Yeah? I bet not like this though. Oh, I never, never knew love like this. Hallelujah. Until my Jesus, <laughs> let me know to love exist. I used to touch all over. But all I found was pain and disappointment that shattered this heart of mine. Hallelujah. You see, I never, never knew love like this glory until my Jesus <laughs> let me know to love as he is truly. I used to touch all over. Great. This heart of mine. I want to tell you this. I had lovers and I had friends. I had companions and I had friends. I had sisters and brothers. My mom and my dad. But no one love me like my God. Holy Spirit, oh I never, never do hallelujah, glory, until my Jesus, let me know, to love my Jesus, I used to say, all over, grab me the love I could find. Some love was pretentious. Some love was fake. Some love never lasted. So they led to heartbreaks. Some love was just cool. They tore me apart. But God loved me like a precious jewel. And well me next to his heart. Isn't that special? Give him a praise. Give him a hallelujah praise. Hallelujah. I said this is the only man that I'm sure of. He will never lie to me. Never cheat on me. He's so good to me that I would share him with any other woman. <laughs> I would share him. Just know this. No one can love you like Jesus. No woman can love you like Jesus. No man could love you like Jesus. No matter if they are the world best lover. My God is the ultimate. He loved me with all my flaws, everything. He doesn't argue with me. And whenever he said, do this, he never said in any hungry manner. I glorify him. I give him all of me. Because he never tell me to put on too much weight on my head dry on them somewhere. You know what I mean? You see, I never, never knew love. you haven't tried Jesus yet you need to try him now get to know him open your heart and ask him to come in because he said if he knocks on your door and he hope me he will come in and dine with you I bless the Lord he's able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask for thank you I'm so in love with him <laughs> I just love him, I love him, I love him, I love him. Thank you, Jesus. I'm because I love him so much. Guess what we do? Guess what we do?
Leguas pull up. Big up my man. Enemy of Christ. From you, 
He's an enemy of Christ. He is an enemy of mine. See the enemy. We see the enemy there. But the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. And that we use and just dash it. Dash it and splash it. That's why them things say. They can't throw me out. But them don't know the power in the blood of Jesus. We see the enemy there. Oh, from afar. See them a plan and them a scheme. We start a war. But in them things they are hallowed, me know they are hallowed Father God, the angel and camp around me You know what we tell them, say Me say, hi, me too anointed He them touch me, me too fiery He them rush me, the Bible and me diary He did strong me, who are me back in deep God Almighty, Satan is a liar He can't trick me, God and top fire He must lift me, the Almighty power He can't lick me, them can't the power see more of me. I got to have fun in the sun. I got to have stuff too, you know. Go do some other things. The album will be out July 12th. It's titled His Grace. 17 tracks. Something with May I tell you. Thanks for coming out. And I'll see you soon. Scuff for big up yourself. Love you like that. Sam Palo in other place. Yeah. My sister, bless up yourself. So we dance off the moon eh? Our Holy Spirit thing, you know. Holy Ghost, we love Jesus and we love him, love him, love him, love him forever. Not can't draw away from Christ. Blessing, my brother, overflow of blessing. Turn it on, turn it on. Turn it on, Holy Spirit, before we leave here. We thank you, Lord, for being up in this house. We give you praise, we give you honor, we give you glory. And we still say, if you don't know Jesus yet, you need to introduce yourself to him, what you are. He knows you already before him farm and place in your mother's home. Just seek him. Seek him and find him because he's everything. He's my all and all. We can't pray without him. May I tell you, I love the Lord. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Thank you so much for allowing me Blessing. to give God all his praise. And Thank you for bless coming you. and Thank sharing you. with us. All right, so that's our show for this week, Winford Williams, on behalf of all of us. Thanking you for joining us. Do join us again next week for more on stage. Bless you. Let's go. The Bible said, it's easier for a camel to enter through the eyes of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God. You know, and a lot of people think that if I, if I lose everything, I will come back. You know, but listen, I was working for the devil before and he couldn't fulfill all my heart desire. You know, because he is a liar. Him come for thief, kill and destroy. But you know, let me tell you something. Oh, I won't worry. I won't worry myself. Glory. Because I am Jesus. And he is my help. Oh, oh, if tomorrow I should lose all my wealth. I still won't worry. I won't worry myself. What me just say? Oh, I won't worry. I won't worry myself. What are you worried for? Cause I have Jesus and he is my help. Oh. Thanks for watching our video. Please click subscribe and be on stage always.